Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a few different decorations for your front porch. They could also go inside except maybe not this welcome sign. But anyways, I'm just going to show you a few little easy things to do to decorate your front porch. So I'm using this flower from the Dollar Tree. This piece of wood that I already had, it is 50 inches long and 6 inches wide. And then the first thing I'm just going to do is take this satin jade spray paint and just spray paint this flower. And I know that it probably didn't give like a huge difference but it did to me because I made a tray recently with the same color so I thought it would match really really great and then now I'm just going to take these stencils and then line them up on my board and I already had this so I'm just reusing it so that's why it's already white and then I know it doesn't say welcome but I really want to space everything out like I said I got these stencils from Hobby Lobby a few years ago they are five inches long and I really like these I think this works really really great and yeah, it's like super easy. I just take a pencil and trace everything out and then I go back in with jet black acrylic paint and just paint the inside of the letters. I'm definitely a big multitasker when it comes to crafting because I don't like waiting for paint to dry. So while the paint was drying on the sign, I went back in with my flower since that was completely dry. And I just used this antique wax by Waverly and I just kind of went all along the edges of the flower to make it look a little more distressed, a little more rustic. And I thought this looked really, really good. I barely have to use any paint when I use this. So I just use a tiny little brush and then just a tiny bit of paint and then this works really really good and you can see the coverage on it i think it looks really And then I was going to leave the flower as is, but I really wanted to go around the middle with yellow acrylic paint. And this apple barrel is from Walmart. It's only 50 cents, so it's super cheap. And it feels like it lasts me forever because I never seem to use a full bottle unless it's like white or black or brown. Then I definitely use a lot. But I thought this made it look more like a flower, so I was really glad that I did go around it using this yellow. And then once everything was dry, I just took some hot glue and glued this flower right to the sign. And I just used that as my O for the welcome sign. And then I just like wrapping twine around the top and the bottom of the signs. So that's exactly what I did. I made something pretty similar last year with the same piece of board. I just kind of flipped it around. But I wanted something just a little bit different this year. Not a whole lot different, just a little bit. So I just decided to do that. And then and now I'm just going to use one of these little decor pieces, this little box, I don't know what you want to call it, a little sign. And then I'm just going to put this moss all the way around. I am reusing this moss from a different project. I cannot find this really, really green moss at the Dollar Tree anymore. I don't know if anybody else can, but the only thing I ever see nowadays is the Spanish moss or like that brown moss. But yeah, super simple, hot glue, moss, and this was a really, really easy project to do. And then once everything was covered, I just trimmed it down. I should probably trim this beforehand. It'd probably be way easier, but 
I didn't and so now I just always trim as soon as I'm done I don't know either way I think this looks nice um, and it's easy and I love moss and I have not used it in so long you guys so if you guys watch any of my older DIYs you guys know I probably use a hundred bags of moss a month and then I'm just gonna take this succulent and hot glue it right in the middle and that's it for this one super easy super super easy And then this last one, I'm just going to be using this terracotta pot, Waverly chalk paint in plaster. You guys, I was going to say white because that's what I normally do. And I'm just going to take this and just dry brush it. You can get these terracotta pots two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And even sometimes I see them really, really cheap at Hobby Lobby when they're like 50% off. You can get a lot for just a little bit of money. I've never bought any there, but every time I see them, I was like, why don't I buy these? And then the next time I see them, they're not on sale. So anyways, you can probably buy terracotta pots anywhere at Walmart, but I picked these up at the Dollar Tree, and I thought this looked good, and reuse your Dollar Tree bags. So if you're not going to recycle them, put them in your terracotta pots. That's what I did. I took some floral foam and a succulent and some of this moss that I had and just stuck it right in there, and that is all I did for this one. This was easy too, you guys. I love doing easy DIYs. It makes life easy, but everything looks so cute. And I see stuff like this at like TJ Maxx for like $6. And I think that's just insane. But I like how this turned out. I think it looks super, super cute. Like All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And this will be my last porch DIY decorating video before I show the big reveal of my front porch. But if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.